Hello, first graders, and welcome to another lesson of meeting characters and learning lessons. How many of you have seen the movie Toy Story? I learned so much about Woody, but is he the only star? Of course not. There's Andy, Rex, Mr. Potato Head, and of course, there's Buzz Lightyear. In the movie, you don't just meet Woody, you meet lots of other characters. Who's Winnie the Pooh without Tigger? What would Shrek do without Donkey? Princess Anna without Elsa? Today, I wanna to teach you that readers don't just get to know the character who is the star of the story, they get to know the other characters too. When you learn about the other characters, you end up knowing the main character even better. Last time we learned about Mr. Putter. Let's keep reading to find out more about him. Mr. Putter and Tabby drop the ball. Chapter two, the team. Chapter two, the team. Mr. Putter was, Mr. Putter found his mitt. Now all we need is a team, he told Tabby. Mr. Putter called his friend and neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry. Mrs. Teaberry would know about a team. She was very sporty. She even walked a dogathon with her good dog, Zeke. Of course there's a team, said Mrs. Teaberry. It's called the Yankee Doodle Dandies. Am I too old to play? asked Mr. Putter. Heavens no, said Mrs. Teaberry, handing Zeke a sniffy bone. You will feel young on the team. Will my knees feel young on the team? asked Mr. Putter. You are not too old and neither am I, said Mrs. Teaberry. We'll both play. Mr. Putter hung up the phone. I hope I'm not too old, he said to Tabby. Tabby just purred. To her, Mr. Putter was perfect. What have we learned about Mrs. Teaberry? She is the neighbor of Mr. Putter. She's very sporty. She walked a dogathon. And she has a dog named Zeke. We have, what have we learned about the relationship between Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry? Well, Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry are neighbors. They are both interested in playing baseball. Now try this strategy with one of your own books. Remember to pay attention to the other characters in the story. Also, remember, when you are reading, be sure to change your voice to sound like the different characters. After you finish reading your book, draw a picture of the secondary characters and tell all that you know about them and their relationship to the main character, then send it to your teacher. All right, readers, off you go.